We're going to do an ATP test uh, to show some clean products that kill germs and viruses. And the second product, what it does, it leaves a film on the surface to kill germs and viruses for uh, like 60 to 90 days. So we're going to see if we have a surface. This surface was cleaned with typical bathroom products like a bleach product. So it shouldn't be super high of a bacteria count. Let's see what we get. second. I gotta squeeze the reagent down into it. There we go. Okay. On this meter about 30 is going to be a clean surface, 30 or below. Okay, so that's not that dirty. I've done other surfaces where there are thousands of light units. 115 is not bad. And what we'll show is if we can spray a product on it that'll kill germs better, germs and viruses better than typical bleach. Doesn't hurt anything, doesn't hurt surfaces. But this is a product that cleans much better. Dry it off, and we'll see how much better of a clean we can get. Got to spin, I have to spin the Q-tip, put some pressure on it, there we go. So it's lower, much better. Now what I'll do is put our other product on here. And we'll let that dry and test it. We use this product, which is called Zuno. We used it over here. And you have to wait till it dries. So we clean this with our cleaning product. We put the Zuno on it, which is a product that as it sits on the surface, it keeps killing germs and it stays on the surface unless you wear it off or rub it off. And let's see what the reading is where Zuno has dried already. much lower but hold on I want to I want to try to test this before it's completely dry which may not be as accurate but I'm just curious if the Zuno will bring this surface down you see it's still a little wet uh, it's gonna get better as it dries this has been dry 30 minutes I'm not sure I can get a lower reading while it's wet but let's see what happens kind of curious down to one. 
So what this shows is we can lower the germ and virus count on a surface better than regular cleaning products, and the Zuno will keep it clean for 90 days. Okay, so what I'd like to do is demonstrate how we apply our Zuno product. Uh, we have the video that shows how low the count can go, but the way we can apply uh, the Zuno is with an electrostatic sprayer right here. And what this does, it, it charges the particles as they come out so they stick to the surfaces, and that way we can cover large areas like your whole home for the cost, uh, a very small cost, what it would cost you if you bought bottles of it and did it yourself by hand. Uh, so let's do a test. We cleaned some of these, but over here, I want to just do a quick test to see if the surface is uh, a little bit dirty, and then we're going to show how we spray it with the electrostatic sprayer, and then we'll check it when it's dry. So let's see what the bacteria count is here. Okay, so 162, and we were getting below 30 on these surfaces after we applied our products. Now what I'll do is just demonstrate how we can come in to your home or even a commercial bathroom, and as you have it regularly cleaned, it will be clean for a while, but these products that we can come in and apply will keep them clean for months. So by just using a mist of small particles with the electrostatic sprayer, it gets onto the surface. It'll stick better. It can actually wrap around surfaces like handles and toilets. And what we need to do is totally let this dry, and they'll come back and see how low we can get it. And the main thing is this product is only as toxic as vitamin C. It's a very non-toxic product. We can come in and do large areas uh, a lot less than if you tried to buy a bottle of the stuff for $30 or $40 and it won't go very far. So we can help you keep your surfaces germ-free and uh, every 90 days come and take care of that for you, keep it clean. Okay, so we're gonna test the area that we sprayed. It was 160 something with the Zuno spray and now it's dry. It's only been about 10 minutes. Uh, and this area, uh, I did not use the first product, which is chlorine dioxide. I didn't clean. We just tested it, and that was actually a low reading because it had been cleaned a couple days ago. So this area we're testing was a higher count, 160, and all we did was spray Zuno on it. And these other areas, we sprayed a clean product, and then we sprayed the Zuno protector. So let's see how much lower we got below 160. So that's pretty good on an area that we didn't agitate, we didn't spray the chlorine dioxide. Just spraying Zuno through your bathroom can lower the count of actual uh, bacteria, virus, and germs. Uh, and we can do it more cost effective than if you just buy a bottle of Zuno, a small bottle for $30 or $40. So that's what we can do for your home or office. Thanks.